Fellow humans, Asari, Turians, and everyone else gathered here today, my name is Max, and welcome to this video. Mass Effect Andromeda is finally here, and we're excited and complaining. Why is everyone complaining? Shouldn't this game be the second coming? The game of the generation. Why isn't everyone praising this perfect next entry in our favorite series? Good question. That's because it isn't perfect. Not even close. Do I still enjoy the hell out of it? That's a big yes. Does it come even close to the level of quality the original trilogy presented? That remains to be seen. The answer also depends on your definition of quality. What sort of game mechanics do you value most? Andromeda gets a great deal right that the trilogy struggled with. That said, it takes big steps back on what was established by the original three. Andromeda is a sequel that makes me question what the hell they were thinking at some points, and praise their decisions at other points. Sometimes even at the same time. I've spent over five hours with the game so far, and I have a good understanding of how the game is going to go. Not only because I'm now out on my own, but because most core mechanics have been introduced and established. The chances of any more of them being drastically game-changing are low. I've seen some bad stuff concerning this game. I wanted to make this video to give my take on it all. Partly because it would be fun, and partly because this franchise means a lot to me and I won't let it be misrepresented. But right before the video, I'd like to clarify one thing. This video is of my initial thoughts. I have barely scratched the surface of this game. I'm right on the verge of experiencing the meaty part. The introduction is finished, the rising action is starting. These thoughts are going to change even as soon as I start up the game next. I thought it would be interesting to take my thoughts from now and compare them to my thoughts halfway through the game and then after finishing. A part of me wants my analysis to be correct and the other part of me wants this game to totally kick my expectations in the ass. But yeah, initial thoughts. Keep that in mind. Argue them in the comments. Oh, and this video will contain complete spoilers of my first five hours of the game, so go and play that first before watching this, but don't forget to come back. Now, welcome, again, to my initial thoughts on Mass Effect Andromeda. Right out of the box, Mass Effect Andromeda is a good game. Even great at times. As a Mass Effect fan, I love it. But parts of the game are outright shoddy. Like some that seem they were kept in ironically. Andromeda's story is not going to be as strong as any of the three original games. Not one of the characters is very engaging. They have their own personalities, but they're just sort of normal. And by normal, I mean compared to what a normal person is in Mass Effect's universe, not normal in real life. They went to another galaxy to explore 600 years in the future. What have you done with your life? The thing is, they just don't have much to contribute to conversation. Each one is a bit stereotypical. The casual jokester, the destined soldier. I just really hope the writing improves later on in the game. But also, think back to the first game. No one was particularly interesting right away. Hayden, Ashley, and Jenkins? Bland. You know what wasn't planned? The universe. The universe was intriguing enough to keep you hooked until the writing caught up. That's a big reason the second Mass Effect is the most loved of the three. It didn't need to start or end the story. All it needed to do was expand on it. Bioware knew that then, and I bet they know that now with Andromeda. You heard it here, folks. The Mass Effect game that comes after this one will have an incredible story. Unless EA will have finally ruined every shred of the Bioware we know and love. If that's the case, then I will never be optimistic about anything ever again. I can't ignore the fact that this is new territory. There's all this stuff I associate with Mass Effect. How can this new thing be Mass Effect when Mass Effect is Joker, Tally, Liara, Garrus, and Commander Shepard? We've never been given anything else to associate with the branding. If everything we know regarding the series is gone, it's going to take a while to warm up to it. Andromeda needs to work hard if it wants to be held as high as the original trilogy. But is it trying to be held that way? The writing in Andromeda so far is Bioware saying, Hey, we wanted to try so many things with this game, and the story kind of took a backseat this time around. Please forgive us. The next one will amaze again, we promise. I'm watching a movie on the sci-fi channel here, but I love it. It's fun. And I hate watching movies on the sci-fi channel. I do think this is a missed opportunity though, especially because the premise of Andromeda is so cool. Also, right before I break into the story, the facial animations are bad, but they're not game-breaking, and that's all I'm going to say on that. 
but seriously, let me recap the story. It's all tropes. Wake up in a new time, something goes wrong. You're somehow well enough to save the day. The captain of the expedition is your dad. He was always very strict to you. You reach the planet deemed New Earth. Things don't go as planned. Your ship explodes on the way there. Crew is scattered. Unknown race is hunting you. Dad dies saving you, has always been proud of you, and knew you were next in line for the Iron Throne. Dad's number two thinks she was the one supposed to be Pathfinder. Everyone thinks you're too young to do anything. You're gonna prove them wrong, and you journey off to prove them wrong. It's laughably predictable. The dialogue is just as inadequate. I don't want to say it's meme but some of it is downright meme But no one's a Pathfinder until they've path found something. Do your Pathfinder thing. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. Also, everyone knows I'm the Pathfinder, and they think that means I can do their busy work. Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. I'm trying to find Earth exactly fucking too. Why would you even consider me to prove your asshole husband you innocent? Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. You just got out of cryo sleep. How the fuck do you know I'm the Pathfinder? There are plot points that may lead to something good though. For example, there is more to Daddy Ryder than just him dying and his son wanting to make him proud. There's a lot of mystery behind how he worked and what he knew, and some of that has already been revealed through poking around. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. Also, I think Sam is gonna turn evil, but Liara has a voice cameo. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work. She'd love to see everything I'm experiencing. I hope to see more cameos like that throughout the game. Small ones that don't override everything going on. So yeah, not all bad, but more bad than good so far. I'm okay with this though. Why? Because the Mass Effect property is enough to keep me engaged. The movie has gotten a Saturday morning cartoon. Andromeda is the spin-off that didn't review as well, but the dedicated fans still saw the charm that hooked them to the series originally. It's just trying out a new coat of paint. This time around, point A and point B aren't that interesting. The journey between them is. Exploration is the prime draw in Andromeda, and it kicks ass. Beautiful alien ruins, ransacked bases, finding spots to start an outpost, I'm out here making my own story, and I can't wait to see what other planets have in store. There are tons of items to find for crafting, though there is an item limit. This hasn't negatively affected me yet, but I sense it will become a problem later on. Clearing planets follows a formula similar to Dragon Age Inquisition. Here's an expansive yet contained area with fuck tons of quests. Some you'll be able to do now, some you'll come back for later. This structure works for me right now because again, Mass Effect. Dragon Age just doesn't have the same pull on me, and I got a bit overwhelmed when Inquisition introduced all of its shit. I could get sick of this later on in Andromeda, but I'll cross that bridge if I come to it. Right now I'm loving it. However, if Andromeda 2, or whatever it's called, doesn't come into its own formula, I will be annoyed. I get it. Inquisition was received super well. Play it safe by doing what works, tweaking it here and there because guns in space. Star Wars Episode 7 did the same thing and no one gave it shit for that. The thing is, Episode 8 needs to shake up the formula or people will be mad. That applies here as well. I don't want Mass Effect, you did this in Inquisition but with dragons. I want it to be Mass Effect, you'll only do this in this game because it's fucking Mass Effect and Mass Effect is badass. This won't fly next time, Bioware, so take note. Movement and combat are where I'm still a bit unsure on the game. My issues may go away as I learn it, but some of them I feel just might be poor design choices. Auto cover is a no from me. I enjoy doing things myself. Not being able to choose when I go into cover is weird, and it throws off any groove I've been able to get into. I don't want to run into a wall to get into cover. I want to press a button to lock myself in. This becomes even more of a problem when you account for the jump jets and dodge. I should be able to jump over an enemy, dodge around a corner, and lock into cover. Instead, I jump, dodge, have my gun out, and awkwardly turn around and force myself into a box or a half wall and hope that the game realizes what I'm trying to get it to do. What if my gun isn't out? Then I stand there in the middle of the battlefield like some asshat who deserves to get shot. Mass Effect deserves fluid movement, and while these moves were a step in the right direction, they still need to get rid of some of these 
weird spots. Also, why the fuck can't I control my squad mate's abilities anymore? I loved pausing and planning out each step when things got rough, and now I have to rely on AI alone to initiate power combos and such. That control needs to come back next game. No excuse. Those are my major impressions, but I have a list of things before signing off. You aren't bound to one class anymore. They can be switched around at will. I haven't gotten to try this feature out much yet, but expect thoughts in the next video. Strike teams. Missions you can send AI squads to do and gain rewards upon completion. Cool, I guess. I don't care much for this feature right now, but I might get into it a bit once I really need to start researching things. I find it annoying that I can't switch to new weapons whenever I want. When finding a weapon in the field, I can either equip it or put it in storage that can't be accessed until the next mission or until I get to a fast travel point. That's counterintuitive to me. I'm going to be spending large chunks of time exploring the unknown. I don't want to go back to safety and rearrange my loadout all the time. The Nomad is better than the Mako, but it's still awkward. It moves through things rather than over them. It's kind of slow, the jump jets hardly work on it, switching in and out of four-wheel drive is realistic, but it takes away from the game here. I'll be flooring it up a slight incline and the damn thing will slow way down until switching over. The game would be better if I could drive wherever without having to worry about that. Well, that's about all I want to say for now. Overall, I'm happy to be playing Mass Effect again. I'm ready for this journey, and I expect to have a ton of mixed feelings throughout it. My next video will probably be around 30 to 40 hours in, whenever I've experienced enough to warrant a second one. Thanks for listening. Leave your thoughts below. Let's argue. See you guys soon.